Assalamu alaikum and welcome to sewing, uh, Jan Sewing Solutions or Dil Pasand Libas mm -hmm. where we're going to be doing some reviews on some of the latest uh, replicas that are coming on the market. This one is by HR Designer, uh, mm -hmm. it's a HR Designer presentation and it's a replica of Anaya called, uh, called Yasmin. Okay, and that's basically the image of the replica. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a description what you get in this replica. What the differences are between the replica and the original. Mm -hmm. And how sometimes you can get these stitched very beautifully to uh, look very similar to the originals as well. Now what you've got to remember is these are replicas. And in replicas, uh, obviously the quality is a lot lower than the originals. There is no comparison between an original and a replica but then you are paying uh, sometimes uh, half the price and sometimes a lot less than half the price depending on who you are buying and where you are buying from so the the important thing is to really notice what you are buying and then to choose according to your pocket uh, often what I say is what my own beliefs are and that is that um, for the amount of time that we wear these outfits, the amount of money we spend on them is um, I personally feel happy to spend less because I know I'm not going to get the wear out of these clothes. And most likely these type of clothing gets worn a couple of times on parties and weddings and so on. And then they are redundant. And I would hate to waste, uh, you know, hundreds of pounds on something like this where I'm going to get very minimal wear out of okay so basically i know personally if i was stitching this for myself i would get the look out of this and i would change a few things around if i needed to because it's not always you're not always happy with what you are getting especially in replicas some of the things that you get in replicas are uh, not exactly what you would actually go and uh, you know uh, buy now personally if i was to make a salwar or a trouser i would not make it out of this fabric this is it's called malai fabric and most likely um, most of the stores in pakistan most of the places they give this fabric for salwar personally i'm not happy with it at all i would use this fabric as lining for something but for a salwar or for a trouser i would not use this fabric so the first thing i would do is to go and outsource a fabric that is more suitable for wearing with this kind of gummies because this would for me this would totally totally spoil the look I wouldn't mind the kameez, the dupatta, everything else is fine on this, but the salwar is absolutely a flaw. So that's my first uh, point of disapproval. Okay, now the suit itself, uh, I'm going to describe what it is and what you are getting for your money. Uh, so this is on organza and uh, it's a really nice type organza. It's, there's no, absolutely nothing wrong with it. It doesn't come with a lining, so you would need to buy additional lining for the cost of the suit. Uh, it would require uh, like a rich buttery cream or a cream color lining. Okay, the back of the kameez has full embroidery as well, as well as the front. There is adequate uh, supply of fabric to make into a quite a large suit. So... This one is a particular uh, customer's order and I will point this out to the customer how she would want this stitching because personally I wouldn't be happy with uh, making the salwar from what, what has come with the fabric. Okay, what's come with the suit. Now this is the piece for the kameez. Okay, it's quite heavily embroidered. It's beautifully stoned. There is absolutely no fault in the kameez fabric. I worked with originals as well. And this is really similar to any of the originals that I've seen. It's very beautifully done. And I'm going to give you a description of what it is that you are getting with this to make it look like the outfit. So first of all, you've got the border uh, motif to go at the bottom of the hemline. So basically that gets applied on at the bottom to make it look like this. And this is, has been edged off with the beads as well, which is generally on an original, you actually don't get that. So that's an advantage to the replica where you are getting 
all these beads added on i wouldn't say exactly beautifully done because you get what you pay for so they've used a thread which is really contrary to the color that they should have used but these are little flaws that you generally get okay now they've supplied a piece uh, here which on the original there is a piece that's used on the back as well i'm sorry to say there isn't a, a piece that's used um supplied with this for the back but there is a piece of the same uh, lace that's supplied for the sleeves and then there is a piece which is supplied for the uh, motifs for the trouser now sadly that's another sad fact that the motif for the trouser that they supply is really adequate for one leg only and this is enough for i mean uh, this particular customer has requested a salwar so i wouldn't personally use this i would probably use um uh, you know uh, make the salwar plain i would do away with this if anything maybe use it on the sleeves but i don't think it's adequate to even use on the sleeve but then if the worst came to worst and if you really wanted to use it on the salwar i would burn this out and i would use a single motif on the salwar poncha alone okay that's just an idea for you okay what you have is two sleeves for uh, two motifs for the sleeve or alternatively you can use these motifs on the salwar poncha and use that on the bazu which is also possible okay and then we have got the neckline so let's just place this right and place the neckline now the other thing that i would advise Okay, that's the neckline. It's a beautiful embroidered neckline. I would pipe this in maroon. And I, personally, my choice would be to get a cream color salwar and do away with the maroon salwar altogether and make this into a very classy and beautiful suit stitched in. Probably, obviously, the model is very slim. She is carrying off the garment in a particular way because of her figure, because of the uh, way it's portrayed and so on. For a very heavy person, I would go for a, a same color combination because it would do far more justice now that this is the fabric for the sleeve again this is quite heavily embroidered and it's a full embroidery on the sleeves again you would have the motifs applied to the front like this on the sleeve and also this to go on the center of the bazoo on the sleeve to give the complete look now the sleeves on a heavier person you would require two pieces to be added to the side because the fabric is just a little bit short to make full sleeves and then finally the suit comes with a net uh, dupatta which has been edged off on all sides now it's not a massive massive dupatta but it's embroidered and it has all the relevant um, add-ons added prior to now unfortunately when they make these suits some of the unfortunately they some of the things oh no they are added on some of these um are done in a bit of a naff way not in a very particular proper way and sometimes they fall off very very easily so there are a couple that are actually missing on this which I would point out to my suppliers and really these are points that uh, should be checked prior to dispatching but unfortunately when you're working with suppliers from abroad they a lot of the time these things do get become unnoticed so um, I will now ask my customer if she, whether or how she would want these are just ideas for you personally I would like you to see the final look of this how I would finish this off and the kind of um, you see there's a couple of mistakes in this suit which personally I am not totally happy with they've gone and used this like a, a jacquard edging of uh, blue color which personally I wouldn't be happy with I would prefer to have this in a maroon jacquard again this requires extra work and so on it requires it requires to be taken off and redone and so on 
uh, but these are all the added spices that you can have if you wanted to make this suit in a perfect way without spending a fortune I mean the price of this uh, replica is round about 35 pounds uh, what you would require is uh, probably an additional a little bit of an additional spending of um, acquiring the lining and the salwar with this and then also if you wanted it really just up but then this is something that you do with originals as well because they don't come with all these tassels and so on you do have to buy them extra uh, a lot of the time the sewing is um, quite uh, um, quite demanding on these suits because a lot of these pieces where these have been previously burnt out a lot of the time these are not burnt out and you have to do these manually so having worked with originals again uh, both in replicas and originals there's pros and cons on both sides so look into the pros and cons before ordering anyway i hope that gives you some ideas on whether this suit is for you how you would go to uh, style this do share your ideas with me uh, if you have your own you know there's lots of colors used on this yes maroon is fine again you can go for a maroon jamawar if you wanted a really really fancy look and these are like extra added things that would really jazz and spice up the outfit so all boils down to how much effort how much uh, you know you what you're willing to do with the suit so take care i'll join you again soon so bye for now